Hello guys, today we will have a discussion on networking components in cluster mode NetApp. So during this discussion, we will see the naming convention of a port and then we will move on to uh, physical ports and what are the roles that can be assigned to a port and what are its purpose. Then we will move on to logical interface and again we will discuss about the different types of roles that can be uh, assigned to a port and uh, and uh, what are the purpose of each particular uh, lifts so first let's log into the cluster cell to see uh, the available port in a cluster execute the command network port show Here you can see we have two nodes that is uh, node 1 and node 2 and each of the node has its uh, interface. So let's consider E0A. So in E0A, E indicates that it's an Ethernet port and 0 indicates that uh, it's, an, uh, it's, it's a 0 slot of uh, that particular node and A indicates that it's the first uh, port present in that particular slot. So similarly, uh, E0B is uh, present in the zeroth slot of the node whose name is B and it's an Ethernet port. So you can also see one particular port that is A0A. So basically it's not a physical interface. It's a combination of uh, more than one interface that we call it as a interface group. So that was the naming convention. In order to see what are the available rules that can be assigned to a port execute the command net port modify hyphen role and then give a question mark so these are the four roles that can be assigned to a port first one is the cluster role and that is used for communication using the private cluster network so suppose we have more than one node in a cluster which are connected through intra cluster switches so this port will be used for the communication between one node to a different node. The second one is uh, data role, which uh, is used for communicating with the files, file service client. So these are basically the protocol that is iSCSI, uh, FC, NFS, CIFS and NDMP. So these data ports are used for the uh, data serving purpose to a to end users. So the third one is node management, which is used by administrator to configure the node. So we can directly log in to a node and do various operations through this node management uh, port. The fourth one is intercluster, and uh, this type of uh, role is assigned to a port uh, to achieve uh, that uh, communication with a different cluster. So suppose we have a replication setup between one cluster to another cluster. So in that case, intercluster port uh, can be used to achieve the goal that is the replication between one cluster to a, another cluster. We can also use this uh, particular uh, port for uh, migration purpose from a seven mode NetApp to cluster port NetApp. Then we will see about the different types of uh, leaf role to execute the shown command to see the available uh, role that can be assigned to a leaf network interface create role then give a question mark so these are the five types of role which can be present in a interface so uh, basically we can assign a role to a logical interface uh, while we are creating the leaves once we create the leaf we cannot modify the role of a leaf uh, later so we have to be very specific while creating the role what type of uh, uh, role that we want to assign for a lift so the first role is a cluster which is used for communication using the private cluster network so basically this leaf will present in each of the node and through that leaf only the cluster or the nodes will communicate to another node cluster uh, leaf can be created over a port whose role has been assigned as cluster so it cannot be assigned or it cannot be create uh, 
in in a port whose uh, role has been assigned apart from uh, the cluster role the second one is that the data uh, live and which is used for communication with file service client so which includes uh, uh, iSCSI, FC, NFS, CIFS and NDMP and a data port or sorry data leaf can only be created over a port whose role has been assigned as uh, data the third one is node management leaf so this particular leaf is used for by the administrator to do various operation in one particular node and uh, node management leaf can only be created over a port whose role has been assigned as uh, node management and data the fourth role of a leaf is the intercluster leaf which is used for communication with a different uh, cluster so basically we'll have to create a intercluster leaf in each of the node present in the cluster and uh, to achieve the goal to have a replication or to do a migration uh, a migration between the clusters so intercluster leaf can only be created over a port whose role is assigned as intercluster and data the fifth and the last role is cluster management this particular leaf is used by administrator to configure the cluster so whenever we are logging uh, through a cluster to a cluster using cluster management loop then we will be able to perform all type of operations irrespective of the whether it's a node operations or a, a, it's a cluster uh, operation through cluster management uh, leaf so the cluster management leaf can only be created over a port whose role is assigned as uh, data and node management so these roles of a port are very important to achieve a certain type of uh, goals in case of cluster mode netapp so in server mode netapp these type of uh, roles and uh, different purpose are not there so that's all what i wanted to discuss uh, on this particular video so if you have any questions or any input please uh, comment uh, do subscribe and uh, thank you for watching